So, so when you get auditing there, what am I getting? You're not getting as developed by L. Ron Hubbard. What am I gaining? And you are not promised. Well, the tech is good and you might get some gains, but you're not getting 100% standard tech. And I'm going to tell you what you gain, okay? There's another reference for your question. There's a section on this same book that talks about the states attain, what you achieve in Scientology. I've heard that before. All right. We all come really to go clear and OT. Right. That's the goal. Absolutely. To have higher spiritual and ethical levels so that we are a lot happier in life and that we can grant beingness to others. And, and achieve and, 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 yes, make a difference. And Absolutely. be more able. Absolutely. All right. Well, if you take a look at the chart of abilities gain in this new version, mm -hmm. you will see OT1, for example as given in the materials of OT1, OT2 as given in the materials of OT2, OT3 as given in the materials of OT3, and, and so, so on. on. Now, if you take a look at this book, I never made it secret. He says, OT1 extroverts a being and brings about an awareness of himself as a Thetan in relation to others and the physical universe. OT2 Rehabilitation of intention, ability to project intention. OT3, return to full self-determinism, freedom from overwhelm, and so on. And he gives you, and he promises you all these wins. You mean to tell me that... Hold on, that one I've got a hum. <laughs> so, it's like having someone tell me that there has always been a veil. Because I know that OTs was something I wasn't allowed to know beyond. It was right. like this this place we're not allowed to attain yet. But he wanted us to attain it. He wanted us to know yeah, what we're right. reaching for. Exactly. Here... I don't know. I, you don't know what you're reaching for simply because they're not applying run stick, whatever this is. In so I'm, I'm just going to make an observation because... Whatever I, you reach, you reach. I'm, I'm going to just... This is just uh, maybe it's a question because I came into um, Scientology in 1989, mm -hmm. 1990, right around that time. But I've got to be honest, if I had known the states that I could have attained on each level, I would have known what I was reaching towards. Right. So I'm going to ask this, were more OTs made before this than they were after this? Yes. And was there more certainty when yes. you got there? Yes, definitely. Their gains were more stable, a lot more OTs, a lot more people training. When I first came to ASHO, we were about a thousand students in the briefing course, the class six course. Nowadays, I don't know how many, but there were a lot of more people. A thousand. I, I, it's just that, you know, I know I'm, I'm going back to real simple stuff. It's just that I can remember when I was in kindergarten, I knew what to expect when I finished kindergarten. Right. I knew I could do my ABCs, I knew I would do my one, two, threes, and I knew I would write my name. Right. I knew what I was going to gain from kindergarten. Well, no longer. But now Snagging. you're telling me, Snagging. not only do I not know what I'm going to gain, I don't know what I'm reaching for. Exactly. So now, there's a lot of alterations, too many to talk to them. That alone is making me just stop because I... That alone is, it's almost like, almost a relief. You just gave me, if you read a rundown on me, because see, now I know that not only was the OT's levels available to anyone who was a pre-clear, he wanted you to know what right. you were getting. Right. He wanted you to know. And if you didn't get what the book said, you, you had didn't to work get it. for it. You didn't get it. But you knew you weren't getting it yet. Right. No one had to tell you. Right. And now they... I always wondered, why is it that somebody had to tell them that they had gained it? And yet, I have talked to OTs who were around during the time you were, and they knew. Right. It was never a doubt. There was never a consideration. It was. Right. So that's why. Exactly. There are a lot more alterations, but we're not going to mention them all today because we will spend the next three or five hours just looking at them. Three or five days. <laughs> so if you're interested, we I will let you know where you can go to find the rest of the I would like, but that alone, um, believe me when I say you've probably just given light bulbs back to a lot of people out there. I'm and glad. I'm one of them. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, Thank you. I want to show you something else. 
There is this book here called Dianetics Today. Now, I saw that earlier, but I don't remember ever seeing that book, ever. Yeah, this book was not out there. Just want to let you know, it was not out there. It was completely eliminated. Disappeared, vanished. Now, I've taken some pictures of that book. I saw the inside of it. And I and me and my, my, my cameraman both said the same thing. How could they... That's a major book. When I mm -hmm. looked through it, the, the information in it was needed. Yeah. It was also needed to help you with Dianetics. Exactly. I mean, it linked with the Dianetics, the book Dianetics of, you know, modern science. So, why was well, it eliminated? there's a section on this book. It says, for the first time, you have an exact subject in the field of the humanities. These humanities for all man's history have been a mass of superstition, bad logic, propaganda, authority, and brutality. And so on, and he goes and so on, and then he says... The most fundamental errors a Dianetic Counseling Group could make would be to use other than straight standard Dianetics and be not quite with Hubbard or to call itself something else than Dianetics. Such a group could not help people long. So in other words, basically somebody decided to take the book off because they pulled it off work. Right. Well, so this book is gone to elimination. To book heaven, okay. To book heaven. <laughs> then we have this book, Mission into Time. This book was not altered either. This is a very interesting book where Ron talks about he's trying to research his past lives and he goes into the countries where he had been in other lifetimes. Okay. And it's a very interesting book, but this book was not altered. Completely eliminated. Why do you feel that they